what's up everyone welcome back to my channel now today i'll be showing you how to make these delicious chicken meat pies so guys let's get started i'm gonna go ahead and start off with the dough so here i have some all-purpose flour some cold butter some salt and some water i'm just gonna go ahead and start combining i'm gonna add my salt to the flour and i'm gonna go ahead and add the butter and i'm gonna use my pastry cutter to kind of get the butter to incorporate in the flour properly we want it to have like a wet sand consistency guys you want to make sure the butter is super cold for this part and if you don't have a pastry cutter you could use a fork or you could go ahead and use your hands but if you use your hands you want to act quickly because the heat from your hand will melt the butter and we don't want the butter to be completely melted we want to be able to have the flakes of butter so once it's baked we will have little pockets of fluffy patches in our pie I'm going to go ahead and add some cold water. You want to make sure the water is cold as well. And we're going to mix this until it forms a dough. We don't want to knead too much. We just want it to just come together. Then we're going to fold this into some cling wrap and place it in the refrigerator to chill while we work on the next part. And as always, I will leave everything that I'm using down in the description box so you can go ahead and check it out. Now here's everything I'm going to be using. I have some bell peppers, red, green and yellow, some onion, minced garlic, mixed veg, some homemade chicken stock, some shredded chicken. I have some milk, some butter and some flour and I have some seasoning I'll be using over here. And to my pan I'm just going to go ahead and melt about 3 tablespoons of butter. And I'm gonna go ahead and saute my veggies. I did went ahead and add some time, didn't mention that. And I'm gonna go ahead and saute these for about two to three minutes. Now we're going to go in with our seasoning, so I'm going to go in with some onion powder, some garlic powder, some herb garlic seasoning, a little paprika, some parsley flakes, and some black pepper. Of course, you could use whatever seasoning you like. I'm just gonna mix this and toast the seasoning so it can release all the oils and flavor. And I'm gonna go in with my flour. Now the flour is gonna create a roux so this can thicken up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this around until the flour is nice and toasty. We don't want to leave this. You wanna make sure you stay there and mix it because we don't want this to burn. Because when we add our liquid to this, this is gonna create our roux. So I'm just gonna toast the flour until the flour does not taste flowery. We don't want it to taste flowery. So I'm gonna go in with my chicken stock. And then I'm gonna go in with some milk. Of course, you could use heavy cream. And I'm gonna allow this to simmer and thicken up. And once it thicken up, then I add the remainder of ingredients. Now that it's nice and thick, I'm gonna go in with my mixed veggies. And of course, my shredded chicken. Now guys, if you don't um, have shredded chicken, you could just season your chicken and roast it in the oven or shred it. Or you could go the easy route and just get a store-bought rotisserie chicken. It just works fine. We just need a chicken. It doesn't really have to be freshly cooked. We just need some chicken. And I'm just going to give this a mix. And I'm going to taste to see if I need any more salt or seasoning. 
as I said you taste as you go along to ensure your flavors are on point I'm just gonna mix this around for a bit and allow it to just simmer around and then that's it and I'm gonna allow it to cool down a bit before I add it to my pastry And this tastes delicious just as is guys now I'm gonna go ahead and start forming my pies so I'm just gonna I'm gonna make these into some mini pies so that way each person can get one serving and trust me guys these look small but they are super filling so one person get a pie so that way we don't have to because cutting the pie can make a mess sometime and not come out that perfect so when you give each person a pie it's more presentable and it works out for everybody in the end so i'm just going to roll this out into a thin layer and i'm going to cut these out onwards everything here is self-explanatory so just watch along and enjoy the video guys Now guys these don't have to be perfect it's homemade and we just want to ensure that we have a pie it doesn't have to be perfect rustic works just fine too I'm gonna go ahead and take my knife and make a vent up in the top because if you don't vent this it's gonna want to let the heat out someplace and we don't want it oozing out all over the place so we make a nice little vent so once it's baking the steam can escape and I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with the rest and then my oven is being preheated to 375 and I'm gonna bake this in a 375 oven for 30 minutes Now into the oven these goes for 30 minutes. Now my pies are out of the oven. They smell amazing. They look divine. And I'm just going to go ahead and brush some melted butter on. Now guys, this part is totally optional, but it does make a difference. And let me tell you, my house smelled amazing. Look 
guys if you have reached thus far in the video and you haven't yet subscribed hit that subscription button turn on the post notification bell that says all so you never miss any of my future uploads and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comment section what you think about this recipe and if you would try it and if you try this recipe you could tag me on instagram at toya's kitchen to let me see how yours turn out guys i digged in and trust me yeah guys it was super hot though yeah <laughs> i dig in and trust me it was divine nice flaky topping so flavorful filling and let me tell you guys i stood there and i eat the entire thing this was so 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 good thank you so much for watching my beautiful people let me know what you think about this recipe again until then my beautiful people i thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye for now